Hi, this is Asin. Today, I would like to share the derivative of tangent x. In this video, we will be using the first principle. First, we let fx be tangent x. And for a small change in x, we have tangent x plus delta x. And we apply the identity of tangent compound angle so we have tangent x plus tangent delta x over 1 minus tangent x times tangent delta x then for a very small change in y we have fx x plus delta x minus fx we obtain tangent x plus tangent delta x over 1 minus tangent x plus times tangent delta x the whole thing will minus tangent x then we combine the fractions we obtain tangent x plus tangent delta x minus tangent x as we can see this is negative times negative we obtain positive so we have positive tangent square x times tangent delta x then the whole thing we over 1 minus tangent x times tangent delta x we do some simplification here as we can see tangent x minus tangent x no more offset each other then we left only tangent delta x plus tangent square tangent delta x then we factorize tangent delta x obtain 1 plus tangent square x the whole thing we over 1 minus tangent x tangent delta x then next we apply the first principle so the derivative of tangent x is equal to the limit as delta x approaches zero for a small change in y for every small change in x which means that this will give us tangent delta x times 1 plus tangent square x over 1 minus tangent x tangent delta x the whole thing be over delta x so this is equivalent to tangent delta x times 1 plus tangent square x over delta x times 1 minus tangent x times tangent delta x okay as we can see for this part when delta x equal to 0 tangent, tangent 0 is equal to 0 and delta x equal to 0 this means that we will obtain 0 over 0 which is an indeterminate form so what we have to do here is we have to solve for this part first then we use the other case okay we first obtain the limit when x approaches 0 for tangent x over x so we have we will convert tangent to sine and cos which is sine x over cos x okay sine x is equal to 0 sine 0 equal to 0 0 times cos 0 0 times 1 equal to 0 so 0 over 0 in determinate form then we can apply l'Hopital rule and we differentiate numerator and denominator separately so when we differentiate sine x we obtain cos x 
and when we differentiate cos times sine x we have u times db dx plus v times du dx so we obtain limit x approaches 0 cos x over cos x minus x sine x so from here all 0 is equal to 1 so the numerator is equal to 1 and for the denominator cos 0 is 1 1 minus 0 times 0 so 1 minus 0 which is also 1 so 1 over 1 we obtain 1 we need to say the limit as x approaches 0 for the function tangent x over x we have 1 okay then we back to the derivative of tangent x before that let's simplify this function so that it looks simple then we have delta x approaches 0 so if let's say we substitute 0 to this part so tangent x nothing to do with delta x so remain tangent x then delta x as 0 so tangent 0 equal to 0 so 0 times anything we have 0 here so 1 minus 0 we get 1 so we have limit delta x approaches 0 is equivalent to tangent delta x times 1 plus tangent square x over delta x this part is already eliminated because tangent 0 we have 0 so 1 minus 0 we get 1 1 times delta x we obtain delta x then for this part this is nothing to with delta x so we can take out then we times delta x approaches 0 for tangent delta x over delta x this is the same case as the one that we done it here meaning to say the limit for this part is equal to 1 1 times anything we get back the same thing so we have 1 plus tangent square x and we know that 1 plus tangent square x by using the identity we obtain secant square x then we done okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you